And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. I'm an Equiscope, and I'm looking for clues, basically, at the moment. We need to open. Oh, actually, I'm not going to go back that way. I think it must be something in the actual nurse's room, because we need to get... From what I remember, is it the key to... I've forgotten now. I haven't played for a few days. What was it that I needed? Oh, it was the medicine cabinet, wasn't it? Bet the phone don't work. It's probably haven't worked in months. No, I don't think they will have done. Look, oh, we can pick up the medical file. Ah. Now, to me, that's gone really quiet, folks. Hold on. So with that, folks, I'm having a little bit of a problem with the sound tonight. It certainly seems to have gone a bit, well, quiet. Now, I've tweaked the sound again, so I've actually made it a bit louder, so hopefully it's alright for you. Let's watch tape number one. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, could I get it? As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. What the frick? Tell them. tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. Oh, I'm gonna frick, give you man. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Holy crap. If you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. God, Crawford was a sick place. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Oh, great. So there's Muggins here going out again, is it? Kill on Lee. Let's get to work. It's always funking me. Now, has he got his. Ah, I was gonna say, we've got our gun on us, so that's better than nothing. I do hope that uh, Clem's alright. See, he's dangerous, because to be honest... Oh, he wasn't that way, was he? It's dangerous, because whichever way I look at it... I'm on my own, again. If something kicks off. Now, did I jump over before? I did, didn't I? <laughs> Funk you. What the heck? Who did that? Okay, well that television seemed to just spontaneously attack him. Are you still alive, sir? Did 
Time to die. Oh, they're so soft and squishy, these things. That's what she said. <laughs> that was a good one. This might be just what we need. Mm, fingers this crossed. Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh, crud. Shit. Time to go. Took the words right out of my mouth, Lee. Now I bet I know what that's actually for. I bet it, I bet that code is for that locker. I reckon that's the code for it. Logan. This must have been his locker. Alright, it's unlocked. I thought it was locked. Another tape. Safe combination has gotta be out of one of these. Hmm, okay. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. That's what she said. I dread to think what's have on you this. Made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. What a mess. Whoa! So that's how the outbreak happened. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More mm, I think we, we do too. Combination. What's wrong? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Boom. Unlocked. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I was gonna say, we should watch it, really. Could be something useful. Let's have a quick watch. Uh, why were you zipping your fly up? Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? So, were they, like, getting up to naughtiness there? Well, shit. So, Molly was being a little bit naughty with the Doctor, but to be honest, you can understand it if that was the only way she could get med medicine for her sister. The plot is certainly thickening. We're 
Got the medicine. Let's get back to Clem. Uh, actually, going the, that's the wrong way. I've got to go past the main entrance. Oh, Jesus hello, Christ. Molly. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Have you I'll got the take battery? battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. You dare say you've lost it? I'm just kidding. Oh, silly. Here you go. What's you alright, Molly? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Yeah, I see. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. I'm sorry, Molly. This is all I have left of her. Fourteen. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. Molly, I, just I understand. wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Look at all the blood on them windows, man. Get your gun out, Lee. Oh, oh Jesus! Shit. Sorry, sorry. I Where's Clementine, you bells, idiot? And then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. You idiot! Ben, where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, oh shit. you stupid idiot! God, Molly is a badass. Lee, shoot this fucker! Did I get him? Thanks. I didn't shoot him. It wasn't me. I'm going, kid. Nice shot. Whoa! Thanks. Good shot, Clem. Blooming hell, Clem. That was awesome. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! It's not gonna budge, Kenny. This is my fault, all my fault. Yes, what it is. Babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you oh, did, God. save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. We don't have time for this. I for after we get out of here. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. You idiot. You know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. 
when it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Oh, Ben. Get him, Kenny. Kick his ass later. Kenny, man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. You gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Well dead. said, Kenny. Your wife and child, you gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking Preach your vote. Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I agree, Kenny. I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do, Clem. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. Oh, Clem. That's my vote. Oh, second thought, Clem. I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh, gosh. I'm gonna have to abstain. I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, frick. Why can they always now go for the intestines? Go. Damn right. Vernon, come on! There better be some guns in there. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Well, you'd hope, Kenny. You would hope. Oh, funk. <laughs> Fuck! That's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Nice. <laughs> We've got a shotgun. All right, you scumbags. Let's rock. Get one, ugly. Oh, frick. Come on, get your leg out, you fool. Oh, God, I'm dead. Not a good start there. Why do they always go? They always go for the stomach. Oh, I see. I can look up like that. Right, okay. Oh, not again. My bad. I wish you'd stop eating my intestines, man. I need them. Come on, we're gonna do it this time. Oh, not again! <laughs> Feels like for Lee, so far he's like lost his intestines about three or four times now. Nice out. Come on, let oh crud, they're going both ways. What the hell is shooting now? Come on, keep it up, guys. Oh, it's hatchet time. Bonk. 
Tonk. Ooh, nice kick there, Lee. 